All right, guys, we're back in square body heaven today. Of course, it depends on what day it is, what we got sitting out here, but really, really excited about quite a few square bodies out here that come from the family, come from some customer builds. And we got uh, what's become now the square body doctor for interiors and much more, but he's really become our expert for the interiors. He can do the underside stuff like we can too, but uh, he's built many a truck and he's been around since the era of square bodies being new trucks owned his own shop and does this stuff uh, night and day now and pumps out a lot of cool builds for our customers and for us. So the biggest thing on this video is one, I want to show you his expertise because it's far beyond what we do um, or have done because he's taking things apart that we never did or take the time to do. But it also kind of explains why a truck like this can be worth 50 grand. Um, you can't build that truck for 50 grand. You can't find a good enough donor truck to start with to build it. Um, but everybody loves wheels, tires, lift kits, shiny paint, big motors, but everybody slacks on the interior. And uh, when you get in these trucks, you want to still feel comfortable. We've been in them where they had no seat at all with a spring shoving up your butt. And uh, we've been in them where they've had custom seats and we've had them where they've got, you know, rugs laid over the seats. But nowadays you can get the parts, you can get it back to as complete factory as possible. And this man right here, uh, he even goes down to the nuts, bolts, and the right screw heads to make everything match. So it'll explain this truck, which is for sale currently, might not last very long with all the interest it's had, but uh, it's got one of the most extensive interior redos, some which he uh, did, some which was done. And then we'll lead over to the one that Daniel has for sale, the LS swap truck, which has uh, you know pretty much a complete interior refurbishment, restoration, whatever guys want to use. Uh, this one's got a really cool radio system in it that's touch screen, some other things which Kenny will uh, talk to you about. But we'll bring Kenny to you here, Kenny Crowder of uh, Matoka, Virginia. What's up? How y'all doing? All right, come on over here and let's look at this thing. So we're just going to start with the kind of the obvious. Once you open the door, we look for things like the original OE plugs here, the original screws not painted over top of. The original bolts that hold the window track and the door handle on, which you're not going to find them that aren't rusted and nasty. So I like to take the ones that are behind the door panel on the inside and use them. That way they're still original and I don't have to buy them. Uh, things like uh, obviously new door strikers, new pin switches for the dome light, uh, all correct screws for your thresholds here. Uh, I put new seat bolts in when I put the seats in. Uh, on these door panels, um, we replace the door panels with, with brand new panels. Um, I'm using these uh, vinyl inlays now, which uh, it's, it's pretty much impossible to get the correct velour ones uh, factory that fit correctly and look correctly. So we found a company that offers these nice vinyl ones. So I'm using those now. But everything on the door is new. Every screw, every clip, every from the door lock pulls, which I, you know, I get those aftermarket when, I, when we don't have them, and I have to cut the rod down because they don't thread down as far as they should, but we do that to make everything work correctly. But everything here is new, armrests, bags, handles, bezels, switches, I mean, you name it. All this is new, everything's new. All right, uh, moving to the inside, um, obviously the first thing is basically tear it all apart. You know, we take everything apart, there's nothing but the metal cage of the dash left. Uh, do everything from paint the heater case that you can see. Uh, on this one, I actually painted the, the whole dash. Um, it gets uh, you know the correct screws for the glove box. Uh, in some cases, it actually gets the glove box liner because the hinge is the is the is plastic basically, so it'll break. Uh, tighten up the uh, the cylinder here, uh, which it's hard to explain but most of the time this gets loose so you got to take it all apart and, and get it tight so that doesn't rattle uh, obviously new dash pad this strip all your vents all your uh, emblems uh, yeah, I buff the buff the paint on the back of the cab here uh, I use an LED bulb in your dome light uh, still use the original housing and I'm sorry not original housing new housing LED bulb, but an original lens. Um, they make a clear lens now, but it's just a little too much, in my opinion. Uh, some of you millennials will probably like that, but I like this look better. Uh, Redial all the plastic trim, including the visors. Put all the correct screws in. Uh, 
Let's move over to the driver's side. All right, so obviously everything is still the same as far as this part goes. Uh, as far as, let's say, the steering column, for instance, I take the steering column out and I paint the steering column. Uh, paint the, paint the uh, I'm sorry, paint, uh, dye the um, steering wheel here. Big Got difference it. in dye and paint. Yeah, big difference in dye and paint. We'll get to that in a minute. Uh, new, new, new recover for your, your horn button. Uh, new turn signal stalk, new headlight pole. It's got a touchscreen radio in it, which I don't know that much about it, but it is it is cool looking. Uh, I redye the uh, four-wheel drive shifter cover. Uh, it's actually got LED light in that as well as the dash. Uh, and if you look at the dash straight on, you'll see that what you don't see in most of these trucks is the small gas gauge in the bottom left corner and the factory tack. That is a factory setup that you rarely, if ever, see or have seen. And it is not butt connected and just hooked up. It has a factory harness that plugs to the back of the tack and goes straight to the distributor, to the HEI distributor. It has a ground plug that plugs to the original ground post on the left side of the dash pillar. So basically, if you take it apart, you'll never know that it was not factory. Uh, also has a new HVAC control panel and the, that, that clear bezel um, over top when it's new really makes a big difference. Video um, right Stay tuned. We the take the vents about. apart, paint drive. the frames, put new locks and all on those, put new gaskets on those for looks and get rid of any unwanted wind noise. Uh, there's a good close-up of the panel. Uh, I think that probably wraps up this one. Uh, we're going to compare some of this to the next one, and if you look at this seat, it looks fine. But this customer, he's about seven foot ten, and didn't want his head hitting the roof, so he elected to reuse the original pad. We just put a new cover on, so you can. It looks fine, but I'm going to show you one with a brand new pad and cover to give you a little bit of a comparison. Uh, but oh, one other thing the pedals. So I paint the brake pedal rod here. I put a new pedal pad on it. I actually remove the entire gas pedal, paint the rod, and take a pick and get out every single grit out of every one of these little lines to make it look brand new. Just little details like that that take time, but nobody thinks to do and makes a big difference when it's all said and done. So let's move over to the next truck and give you something to compare it to. Here we have Daniel's LS swapped 87, also 87K10. I know what everybody's thinking right off the bat is what's up with those floor mats. Well, we're waiting on the correct ones to come in. Uh, our vendor has every color available except for tan. So we are currently waiting on the correct color floor mats. But anyway, basically this has got the same treatment as the last one has, but look at the seat. Look at the difference between that nice crisp straight straight down it's not rolled over like you'll get when you have the used cushion um, aside from that part the only thing really different about this truck is has a tilt column in it and it's a different color but other than that and this one got every single thing at one time from from headliner board to the carpet kit and everything in between we did not do the tack conversion on this one as you see uh, this wasn't something he was interested in at the time, uh, so we did not do that on this particular one, but it is something that's easily done on any of them, even the 70s round eye trucks with the different style font on the gauges. We can do those as well. But aside from that, uh, I think that pretty much covers what I do. I can do other stuff too, but this is my main thing because I'm kind of old and wore out and. I just can't do all this heavy stuff no more. <laughs> Other than that, uh, that's pretty much it. So Kenny probably got real technical. Uh, I had to step out with a customer, but he's over the top. Like, you know, there's just not many people that, the, the real thing is the patience. And, and like he calls it the last 25%. You know, most people can get a truck 75%, which means it's driving, you know, like what Daniel went into on the other video about the drive shaft. We'll get to it later. We're not gonna get stuck. 
but it doesn't complete a truck. Like that's, you know, leaving a bolt out here, we'll get to it later. You don't ever get to it later. That's never gonna happen. So Kenny takes it that extra mile. He does that 25% that nobody wants to do. He will hold that clip 15 times and drop it in the door and pick it back up with a magnet because you can't reach it. Nobody else wants to do that. So when this truck, and again, this truck's getting a lot of publicity all of a sudden, of course, you know, why wouldn't it? It's a one ton, 40 inch tires, you know, looking killer. And it's a red square body, what gets better than that? But when he did the interior for this guy, which is one of our really good customers and good friend as well, just like a lot of others that have been referred to him or that he's referred to us, we've been in the same town for a long time. He found other things that needed to be done. And can you tell him about a few of the other things that you knocked out on this one? Uh, well, one of the, one of the main things is the, the customer, when he put the front end together, the headlight buckets, the metal buckets that the headlights go in, were still the same as they were, you know, when I guess when he got the truck. So I bead blasted all those because when you pop the hood and you look from the inside, you can see the back of the headlights. So I bead blasted all the buckets and springs, painted all that stuff, put new, uh, the rings that actually hold the headlights on are new. The screws that hold them on are new. I painted the entire top of the radiator support, put all the correct seven millimeter screws with the washers, the factory style screws, which it had, as most do, mismatched, uh, you know, sheetrock screws and, you know, hardware store stuff. Uh, polished all this surround trim, um, polished all that. Uh, Did some stuff with the air conditioner, right? Oh, yeah, let me pop the hood and show you that. So we got a brand new GM, not no aftermarket advanced auto parts crap. GM compressor, complete line set, accumulator, orifice, whole nine. So you got cold AC. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? Ah, the infamous correct horn bolts. Very, very rare do you see that when you pop the hood on one of these. So it's got two horns and two correct horn bolts as well. And these are your seven millimeter headed screws that hold the grill on. The correct Torx head screws that hold the headlight doors on top and bottom. Even has the often left out bottom screw on the grill that's hard to get to from the bottom that everybody leaves out. Uh, little touches the detail like that to just go so far and again even when we get them we can't always do this to all trucks and we're not going to do this to all trucks and sell it for 20 grand you can't afford to so you know when we get one that's priced higher you can guarantee it's had those extra touches whether it be Daniel whether it be Kenny um, like I said, he's the guy that carries this stuff to the extra level. And not just with square bodies, he does a ton of other hot rods and race cars and heck, he's even, done, was that a Caprice or something? What's the thing you drive around? The Delta 88. The Delta 88. I mean, you know, who cares about one of those? He's 85 got 85 Delta 88. Yeah, he's got a mint Delta 88 he rides around. It's like it's nicer, newer than uh, an 80s model. So uh, this truck definitely has had the extra level. I'm sure there's something untouched. There's something that's not done, but uh, you got to look for it you definitely going to have to look for it on this one. So I uh, appreciate you coming today, Kenny, and, and going yes, over sir. that. I mean, people love these square bodies, and we love square body customers. You know, they don't make us a fortune like selling some of these commercial vehicles and other things we sell, but it's a passion, it's a love, and uh, you know, something we're not going to stop doing. Um, and between Daniel, myself, Brian, Kenny, all these other guys, I mean, we've hoarded up a, a good percentage of square bodies uh, out of this world. So uh, some of them have made into mud bog trucks, and some of them have been donors, and some of them have got crazy futures in mind, but uh, you know we got to have teamwork to make it happen, and that's one big part of the team right here. So appreciate you coming down today, Kenny. Sure. All right, well that's it. If you're looking for this one, it's on web for sale. If you're looking at any of the others you've caught in the background, they're for sale. Now that you understand what Daniel's truck's all about, yeah, 30 grand's not a bad deal when you figure what's been done to that truck, LS swapped, and. Uh, you know, keep watching because they're not sticking around. So if you want one, reach out, shoot us a text, a message, uh, hit us up on any of the uh, messengers on the uh, social media and we'll try to make a deal. Davis Drives.